assalamu alaikum dear student today we are going to uh, solve 970121 paper 2 this is the paper 2 okay a theory question question paper 2 number 2022 and uh, let's start with the first question Atom of the nuclei containing the odd number of the protons tend to have the fewer isotopes than those with the even number of protons. Gallium has two stable isotopes. So, gallium, okay, these are two isotopes. So, you can see over here, and it has two isotopes. So, what's, what's the question? Complete the table one program to show the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in the okay number of protons gallium has how many number of protons uh, gallium has 31 protons okay it will, will also have the same number of protons and when you will subtract protons from the atom mass the number of neutrons will be there it will become 38 and number of electrons are always equal to number of protons okay here when you subtract then it becomes 14 neutrons and number of electrons are always equal to number of protons a, rel a relative atom mass the mass of an atom of element as compared to 1 by 12 mass of carbon 12 means the isotope which has a 12 ma mass okay so this is called the relative atom mass next question relative atom mass of the gallium is 69.73 it's okay this is the given and uh, relative isotopic mass of gallium and the gallium 69 and 79 isotopic mass are like this is given over here okay so use this information to calculate the percentage abundance of the gallium 69 we have to find the percentage abundance of 69 in elemental gallium show you are working assume that the element contains only gallium 69 and gallium 71 isotopes so you know that what is the formula percentage abundance multiply by mass okay of one isotope plus percentage uh, abundance multiply mass of another divide by 100 is equal to average atom mass average atomic mass okay now let's put the values we consider that gallium has the uh, it has abundance x gallium 69 okay and the other gallium has gallium 71 has 100 minus x remaining will be the percentage of gallium 71 okay so let me write here percentage abundance x and the mass is the i'm writing the x multiply by mass of this is 68.292 to 68.926 plus 100 minus x and percentage bonus is multiply by 70.92 and 5 just like divide by 100 is equal to average down mass is the 69 0.723 now let's do it it becomes 68.926x plus 100 is multiplied by this it becomes 7092.5 minus and x is multiplied by this it becomes 70. Point 925x is equal to this 100 is dividing here will be multiplied to become 6972.3 now we keep all of these over here 
what we do over here 68.926x minus 70.925 okay is equal to 6972.3 this plus will be minus 7092.5 so let's calculate it 68.926 minus 70.925 it becomes minus 1.99 999 is equal to 6972.3 minus 7092.5 what we get over here minus 120.2 so this is actually an x okay this is an x so x will be equal to minus will be cut with the minus okay no problem 120.2 divided by 1.999 so it will become 60.13 percent so x is the value of our gallium 69 okay gallium 69 simply you can say so its percentage of abundance is 60.13 percent is the answer potassium also has two stable isotopes both isotopes have the same chemical properties explain why both isotopes of potassium have the same chemical properties due to same valence electrons number of valence electrons same number of valence electrons it means the number of electrons in the outermost shells are the same state the full electronic configuration of potassium potassium k19 okay so k19 becomes 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 okay what's next the first and second and third ionization energy of potassium are given like this this is the and this one if you look carefully it's from 418 it, it becomes a huge difference over here okay and then from 4600 uh, means there is difference of 1500 this is the gradual difference but here is the huge difference what it shows use this information to explain why the potassium is in the group one actually the huge difference in first and second ionization energy shows that second electron is removed from inner shell hence outer electrons outer shell has one electron so belongs to group one Magnesium shows the reaction typically after group 2 metals. Draw the label diagram to show the bonding in magnesium metal. In the magnesium metal, there is a metallic bond, and to show the metallic bond, I am writing like this. Okay, this is the magnesium metal. Wait, let me draw it clearly. Magnesium metal, this is also magnesium metal. Like this, we draw it. What will be the charge on the cation means after losing two electrons it will have two plus charges okay means this will be the metallic cations okay which the magnesium after losing its two electrons from the outermost shell it becomes plus two okay and where those electrons will be those electrons will be delocalized free moving electrons will be 
moving here freely and this shows the actually metallic bond so this is called delocalized electrons we have to label it as well delocalized are free electrons and this is called metallic cation here we have this reaction I mean okay mg reacts with icl2 form mg cl2 and uh, mg magnesium carbonate when reaction takes place with the icl so magnesium chloride is formed okay so here is asked to identify the other products of the reaction one what is the reaction one basically reaction one is mg plus icl gave rise to mg cl2 plus s2 okay acid plus metal so mgcl2 is given here what is the other product s2 okay and uh, in the same way that mgco3 reacts with mgco3 reacts with the icl so mgcl2 is formed two hydrogen one chlorine it becomes h2o plus co2 okay so i will have to write here too so reaction 2 in which uh, mg here carbon dioxide is also formed and uh, second uh, s2 is also formed okay reaction 3 is uh, used to for the first state of magnesium hydroxide to form the magnesium chloride state why calcium hydroxide would not form the first state of barium hydroxide from barium chloride in reaction 3 is used to form the precipitate of magnesium hydroxide from magnesium chloride. It's okay. State why calcium hydroxide aqueous would not form precipitate of barium hydroxide from barium chloride. Means when calcium hydroxide is reacted with the with reacted with the barium chloride, so precipitate of barium chloride will not be formed. Barium hydroxide actually solubility of hydroxide increases down the group so that's why precipitates of barium hydroxide are not formed solubility of group 2 hydroxide increases down the group so precipitates of barium hydroxide are not found not observed state the type of reaction that occurs in reaction 4 where is the reaction 4 reaction 4 is okay this is a basically magnesium carbonate it converts magnesium oxide so this is type of the uh, you can say magnesium carbonate it is heated so it converts into magnesium oxide plus carbon dioxide okay so this is the thermal decomposition thermal decomposition okay yes one cm cube of mg cell is placed in test tube okay and a few drops of the ag no3 are added followed by the one cm cube of dilute ns3 said a full in full what is observed in this experiment when mgcl2 is placed in a test tube and a few drops agno3 is formed is uh, is added so are added then ag takes the chlorine so uh, you will see that white precipitate of agcl white precipitates of agcl are observed so what happens when ns3 upon adding ns3 so it means precipitates disappear or you can say dissolve so one cm cube of MgCl is added in the bromine in the test tube solution remains orange actually bromine has an orange color but uh, upon adding MgCl2 bromine does not react with the MgCl2 the reason is 
bromine you know that fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astatine okay in this way so bromine cannot oxidize chlorine being the less reactive bromine is less reactive uh, than uh, chlorine so it uh, cannot oxidize chlorine so reaction does not proceed and orange color of orange color of bromine remains retained remains orange okay you can say and orange bromine is retained orange color of bromine okay Some of the common chlorides of period 3 elements are shown in the list NaCl, so all chlorides that NaCl, MgCl2, AlCl3, SiCl4 and these are the, uh, from this list identify all the chlorides that have this giant ionic structure in the solid state, joint ionic structure, NaCl, it forms a joint ionic and MgCl2, this is not joint and these are the simple covalent, so that's why and this is not joint, you know that AlCl3 3 is formed so it can convert into the al2 cl6 hardly okay all the chlorides that are react vigorously with water to form the strongly acid solutions so non uh, this can form the acid solutions okay this as well al cl3 sicl4 pcl5 okay this form phosphoric acid this form hydrochloric acid and silicon is removed okay there is also formed some type of acid because this is amphoteric can show like this reaction okay so what is the question next the chlorides that dissolve in the water to form the neutral solution uh, sodium chloride its solution is neutral NaCl the chlorides that uh, formed from the element with the highest melting point means the chlorides before making the chlorides these elements had the highest uh, melting point okay so sodium has one uh, charge so magnesium has plus two charge after losing two electrons plus three after losing three uh, losing three electrons plus four so it would have the highest metallic bond so the melting point of silicon would be greater so the chloride formed from the element means that the element with the highest melting point so silicon had the highest melting point so it formed the chloride so we'll have to write SACL4, okay. NaCl is one of the product of the chlorine gas and the cold aqua sodium oxide. Identify other products. Actually, NaCl uh, is one of the product, okay. So reaction of the chlorine gas and the cold sodium oxide. NaOH and chlorine, okay. NaCl, NaClO plus h2o so identify the other products naclo plus h2o pcl5 reacts with alcohol to form the chloroalkanes what is forms chloroalkanes identify this type of reaction this is a substitution reaction means alcohols so yes hydroxide is replaced with, with the chlorine so it becomes chloroalkanes okay draw the structure of orange pro organic product formed in the reaction of an excess of pcl5 with but butane 13 diol 13 diol butane butane means so what is the structure of the organic product formed in the reaction of x when the pcl5 reaction uh, reacts with the, uh, with the butane 13 diol so the organic product is formed so now let me write butane one two three four okay one three diol one and three there was 
two OH, but when this reacted with the dye also, uh, those were substituted with the chlorine. Okay, so one three dichloro dichloro. Okay, it becomes butane. One three dichloro butane. It can become. So this is the organic product which is formed when the PCl five goes through the uh, reacts with the butane one three diol and the substitution reaction takes place. So I can write rest rest of the hydrogens as two. Yes. Here is also S2, here is only one H, and here is S3. Okay, this is the product. Sulfur reacts with the chlorine to form the several different chlorides. The most common are S2Cl2 and SCl2. SCl2 forms when the sulfur reacts with excess. When sulfur reacts with excess of the chlorine, then SCl2 is formed. Otherwise, S2Cl2 is formed. Reaction 1 is given S8 reacts with the 4 chlorine. Okay, 4 chlorine molecule, and this is formed, and this is an endothermic exothermic reaction because heat is released. S2Cl2 reacts with chlorine, at 2SCl2 is formed, and this is also a, a heat of reaction is the exothermic, it shows the minus sign. So, SCl2 is the cherry red liquid that reacts vigorously with the water to form an acidic solution use this information to reduce the bonding in the structure shown by the scl2 okay bonding bonding it shows it has the covalent bonding okay scl2 has covalent bonding so uh, and uh, simple co has simple covalent bonding okay and structure when we talk about a structure so it has simple covalent structure simple covalent structure with low melting point okay Calculate the enthalpy change of the formation. This is very important. You have to understand it. What it wants to say? Del HF of the SCL2 liquid. You can find it useful to use the Hess's laws to construct this energy cycle. Okay. That we know that that uh, this has to form. SCL2 has to be formed. Okay. S2 Cl2 plus Cl2 will react to form SCl2 okay liquid so del HF mean the formation of the liquid SCl2 has to be formed okay has to be calculated so now let's see that now how it is formed we have s8 you must know that well, let me write a bit close to it because we have less space we have s8 okay so because we cannot take it to in the other form so it 4s cl2 has to be formed and uh, chlorine and also we have to take it, them in the standard forms okay because they react to form the S2Cl2 so S8 and then if I take 4Cl2 like this then 4S2Cl2 will also be formed but what about this chlorine so that's why I'm taking here 8 when I take here 8 so 4 this and 4 this one 4 4 are 4 2s are 8 but 4 remaining chlorine will form like this okay so when we go directly so 8 SCL2 will be found now let me tell you that for the formation of 4 SCL2 4 SCL2 formation of uh, how much energy is, is released del H F for what for 
एस टू सी एल टू फार फोर ओके आई एम राइटिंग डायरेक्टली ओवर हेयर दैट इज माइनस फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट टू ओके फॉर एस सी एल टू एट मालिक्यूज बट हेयर वी वी फॉर्म डो हाउ मैनी टू फॉर टू मालिक्यूज वॉज दिस सो फॉर एट विल हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बिकॉज एस सी एल टू आर फॉर्म डो और हेयर डायरेक्टली आर एट बट हेयर द एनर्जी विच वी हैड दिस इज फॉर टू एस सी एल सो विल हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई फॉर एट विल हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई विद फोर टू फोर आर एट ओके सो फोर मल्टीप्लाई फॉर टू इज माइनस फोर्टी पॉइंट सिक्स किलो जो ओके इट बिकम्स हाउ मच लेट मी राइट हेयर इट बिकम्स वन सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फोर ओके let me tell you there are two roots one root is this one and other is this one okay so let me write here shortly del h f s this is the del h o i can say one okay so del h one is equal to del h o f o s two c l two plus del h f o of scl2 so here del h f for scl2 for 4 over here we have that is minus 58.2 okay and here del h1 for direct 8 for 8 formation is 162.4 here we have plus del h f we have to find for 8 scl2 so it will remain over here as it is del h f for 8 scl2 162.4 plus 58.2 so it becomes 6 220 so multiplying dividing by 8 and dividing by 8 so for del hf for 1 scl2 what it will be it will become something like 27.6 this is the answer state effect of decrease in the pressure on the position of equilibrium in direction 2 look here in direction 2 what we have that there is no gas in other okay but when you decrease the pressure so its concentration will be decreased so forward reaction will be will be decreased so reaction will move towards the left listen to me again by decreasing pressure the concentration of cl2 because there is only one gas okay over here so it will be affected its concentration will be affected so when the concentration is affected so collision is affected and in this way the rate of reaction is also affected so simply when we decrease the it's uh, it's so uh, what we call it pressure so it will occupy more space and less collision will be there so forward reaction will be decreased when the forward reaction will be decreased so equilibrium will move to the left okay on decreasing pressure concentration of which gas which gas is over there Cl two okay chlorine gas will be decreased. Decreases to decrease forward reaction. Hence, equilibrium. we will shift to left like this okay define the structure isomers same st structure formula but different same molecular formula but different structure formula 
the molecules are the compound which have the same molecular formula but different arrangement of the atoms are different structure formula suggest the value of the s cl s and this one in the isomer one look here we know that o c t p okay like this so as it has two lone pair when it has bonded to the two hydrogens in case of water and the same way sulfur also has two lone pair of electrons so due to two lone pair of electrons its angle will be 10.104 simply you can say okay angle is 104 reason due to presence of two lone pair of electrons on sulfur bond angle of chlorine and sulfur is is oppressed or is decreased simply to 10415 due to greater bond pair bond pair repulsion okay Draw a dot and cross diagram to show the bonding in the okay isomer two outer electrons only. Okay, this one is there. Like this, we have S double bond S one Cl and one Cl. We know that S has six electrons, chlorine has seven electrons. But here, this S is sharing two electrons with this. Dot cross dot cross. What about its remaining four electrons? I'm writing here with the dot. S S. So it is sharing one electron with the chlorine. Okay. It's a bit shorter. It's going to become. What about the six uh, remaining electrons of the chlorine? We will dot, cross, and dot, and then in the same way, dot, cross. So it will also has the six remaining electrons. So this is chlorine. This is one more chlorine. This is sulfur, and this is sulfur. Showing only sulfur has outermost six electrons, okay, and the chlorine has outermost seven electrons. Organic compounds can be distinguished using the chemical test 4.1. This is which thing it is? It is ester. Okay, you can see over here. This is the ester. Which thing it is? It is alcohol. So we have to use any type of reagent so that one will give the reaction, will give the positive test, and so it will be distinguished from the other. So reagent, we write here the test for alcohol. The this is secondary alcohol. You can see. Okay, we can use K two Cr two O seven. Okay, so you will see that its color is it is decolorized. It is decolorized. Okay, uh, upon oxidation of secondary alcohol. Okay, while this does not give reaction. Okay, this is K two Cl two seven. Look here carefully. This is a, and this is a, this is actually one two three four. Two butanone. This is the ketone, and this is once again ester. 
so we can differentiate ketone aldehyde and ketone give with the 2 for dinitrophenyl hydrazine when it is this aldehyde and ketone okay this is the ketone so it will give the positive test with, with 2 for d and ph it will not give test with 2 for d and ph so it gives deep uh, orange precipitate i think yes with the b1 shortly i'm writing here okay you can see over here that there is a unsaturated one is unsaturated okay and this is a saturated so we can use the bromine aqueous okay bromine water test and the orange color of bromine bromine is a decolorized with a c2 shortly i'm writing c2 okay you know the reason unsaturated they react with the bromine okay this is what we have this is three we have triol one sorry one two three propane triol what we have over here one two three okay so actually this is carboxylic acid and it also has the alcoholic so how can we differentiate if we use anything for alcohol so this will give and this will also give the test so we use we use it uh, something which reacts with the acid i can use here sodium carbonate okay you know that sodium carbonate will react with this the d2 so it will form the carbon dioxide okay d2 will react with and need to sodium carbonate acid plus carbonate and uh, carbon dioxide will be will be released while in other case this will not show reaction with the any 2 co3 the one which shows the reaction other doesn't show and this way they can be distinguished okay if this shows the reaction alcohol but it will not show if this shows the reaction with this it will not show okay if this shows reaction and being unsaturated it will not show it is saturated being it has the acidic functional group it will show reaction it will not show okay identify the reagent that could distinguish between the compounds in each pair okay this this is done what we have done c1 has the melting point 94 c1 and boiling point 49 c1 uh, look here carefully what is the c1 c1 is this one okay c1 is this one okay so as you can see this is the alkane so it has the melting point 94 Explain these properties referring to the type of intervals force between the molecules. It have it is the non-polar. It is the non-polar because it has no polarity. This is alkane being non-polar. It will have which forces? Uh, Certainly, dipole and use dipole forces. C one being non-polar. Will show. instantaneous dipole and induced dipole forces or simply we call it London dispersion forces okay so that's why it has this much melting point which is a minus 94 and the boiling point is plus 49 draw the structure of cis isomer of c2 what is c2 c2 it's a 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and 2 hexene this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is actually the structure so we have to show the cis okay so, so for showing cis I can draw it upward and then downward okay like this
double bond is here here is the hydrogen okay it doesn't need we don't need to represent that here is the hydrogen okay it's clear over here or simply i can write like this c h o 3 c h o double bond not c h i can write like this more simply wait c this is hydrogen okay and here is also c h is here okay here is cs2 then here is again cs2 and then ca3 so both heavy functional group are on one the side same alkyl groups on one side so this is cis okay protons are uh, hydrogen on the same side so this is also cis this is, identify the type of polymer that can form the c2 it can form additional polymerization okay additional polymerization rather one repetition unit of polymer so simply this double bond will convert into sim simply single bond or uh, i simply write over here this one single bond okay this is and i will just write single bond this will be formed this way r uh, I'm going to write once more like this so that CH3 C single bond sorry you don't need to write cis one form okay it is about C2 okay so same as here I don't need to write this upward because we are not making from the CH3 Okay, C H O one, two, three, C S two, C S two, and C S three, and N number of. lactones are cyclic esters so you can under the suitable condition like lactones form the from molecules that have the both an alcohol and a carboxylic functional group equation one shows this example of the formation of lactone you can see the lactone over here okay so figure 5.1 shows the synthesis of lactone p from the m okay p is over here lactone is over here okay and start from m so hard constructed Estified K104 is used. So actually, when you use hard constructor, so double bond is broken down. Okay. So draw the structure of nitrogen uh, N means what is formed N over here. So let me write over here. This will be like uh, if I make it the open structure. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six okay what happened on the first double bond is broken down and here oxygen will be attached okay and one hydrogen is there but on further oxidation it becomes like this okay but here you will see two three four and on five two three four and on the five what will be there on the five on the five they will be like this i can make they will be oxygen only because it will form ketone any carbon which has two alkyl group attached so it will form ketone okay this is the n so what happens over here n is reduced by nabs4 nabs4 in the reaction two because it provides the atomic hydrogen so what will happen over here construct the equation for this actually let me uh, tell you that what happens over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 c6 
let me tell you hydrogens three there is no four five six seven eight nine and ten hydrogen is ten I'm sure I'm right three two five two seven two nine and one ten and oxygen how many oxygen there one two three oh three when two further atomic hydrogens are used so what we get c6 s12 o3 okay so reaction 2 is a nucleophilic addition reaction where is the reaction 2 yes this is the reaction 2 it is nucleophilic addition reaction means hydrogen is added two hydrogen atomic hydrogens are added okay uh, on the double bond this on the double bond one hydrogen goes here and one here okay so what happens suggest why the reaction two creates a mixture of two organic compounds actually why reaction two creates a mixture of two organic compounds there are only two organic compounds means the first one is so uh, this one okay whose reaction is going on and the second one is the same okay there is no third type of the reaction third type of the product it means it is a planar compound okay ketone yeah carbon with oxygen is planar so nucleophilic addition take place equally from either side from either side draw the lactone p the product of reaction 3 what is the lactone lactone is already given over there this is the lactone but but this is the lactone but here lactone will be a bit different how let me tell you what happens over here one two three four five and this this oxygen will be linked to this okay this oh and this h will be released okay so actually one two three four five six six will be there and if i start this first one double bond oxygen okay this is the first carbon okay double bond oxygen second third carbon fourth carbon fifth carbon and here comes oxygen and with the fifth carbon there is like this one double one oxygen two three four five this is a sixth one okay so with the five there is methyl group as well so this will be the lecton